Hi everyone, welcome to the latest Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to put two photos side by side on the one canvas. This was actually requested by one of my readers, Betty, who was wanting to put two photos side by side so that she could fit two images inside one pocket of her Project Life album without having to cut photos up um, and stick them together. So what we're going to do is I've created this simple template, which I will make available free on Lovely Living, that you can use inside Photoshop to create your own um, collage. So you'll be able to create your own image with two photos side by side. And this can be used for both vertical images and horizontal images. So I will provide um, two copies of this so that you can have a vertical copy and a horizontal copy. And what we're going to do is we are going to start with this um, light blue box here and we're going to open up our photos and I have my photos all in the one folder. And when you want to open your photos inside Photoshop, all you need to do is click on a photo that you want to select, press Command or Control if you're on a PC, hold it, and then click the other photos that you want to open inside Photoshop. When you've selected those photos, you just want to click right click or the two finger click on a Mac, and you want to click Open with Photoshop. And that will open up your photos in Photoshop in separate tabs. So you'll be able to see your images that you want inside Photoshop. I've already opened these photos that I want to use. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to put these two images side by side on the one canvas. I'm going to start with this light blue area over here and we're going to select the light blue layer. You can see that light blue box there. And I'm going to select my photo by holding down on the photo, dragging it over to that lay, uh, over to that tab, and dropping it in. And you'll see that the image is much bigger than uh, the actual box. So we're going to resize that. But first, we're going to create a clipping mask. And the way we do that is we come over to the photo layer. We make sure it's sitting on that light blue box. We right click and press Create Clipping Mask. And that will just contain that photo inside that blue box. Now what we want to do is we want to resize this photo. So we want to resize it so it's proportional. We don't want the proportions to be out of whack and stretch the photo. So we're going to hold down our shift button and we're going to grab the corner of the photo and we're just going to drag it down. And we drag it back up. And now, as you can see, we can pop this in like it is there, which means that a little bit is cropped off, but that's okay. And to commit that change, you just press enter. Now, if you want to drag this image back out again and just zoom into the image, maybe you only want to show the baby's face um, or you want to zoom right in, you can do so. And you can just zoom in like that and press enter and that will commit the change. So you have that photo sitting nicely there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fill this box with another image and we're going to do exactly the same thing. So we're going to select this darker blue and we are going to select the other image and we're going to hold down on the photo and we're going to drag the photo across to that first tab and we're going to drop it in. As you can see, the photo is sitting on top of that photo. And what the clipping mask will do that we're going to create is it will contain it inside that darker blue box. And if you watch the image while I do it, you'll actually see the image move into that frame. So we're going to click on layer four, making sure that it's sitting above that layer two box. You can see that's the darker blue on the right hand side. And on layer four there, we are going to right click create clipping mask. And if you watch it, you'll see that it's going to pop back into that frame. And there it goes. It's sitting nicely into that frame. And then we're just going to resize it again. So we're just going to drag, holding our shift key, dragging that corner down. And we've made it a little bit too little. So we just drag it back out again. You just keep dragging. And again, like I said, if you want to zoom in, you can just zoom in. If you want to have 
the complete full image then you just zoom out once you're happy with where it's placed just click enter and that will commit that change for you and that gives you two images side by side um, on a six by four print so that you can just take it into your local photo lab or you can print it up at home and you can um, have both images there ready to print um, I will make these templates available for you on lovely living for free just to make life a little bit easier for you when you're printing up photos for project life thanks